My article for this special issue of Anti-Trafficking Review on Everyday Abuse in the Global Economy is based on my research with migrant domestic workers from the Philippines who are living and working in the UK and Lebanon. I look at two terms which are often used by state and humanitarian bodies to describe migrant domestic workers in different circumstances, modern heroes and modern slaves. Modern Heroes is a translation of the Tagalog term Bagong Bayani, which lionizes the self-sacrifice and generosity of overseas Filipino workers, leaving their families in order to send money home. Modern slavery has been criticized as a humanitarian buzzword. It focuses attention on individual victims and perpetrators, rather than the normalized everyday structural exploitation that lots of workers experience. So while these two terms come from very different contexts, I argue that they perform the same rhetorical device. Both single out spectacles of success or victimization, shifting attention away from the everyday experiences of domestic workers and the material histories of labor migration. Of course, the powerful ways that these terms get performed and circulated have serious material effects on migrant workers' lives. I came to this reading of the terms because of what domestic workers have told me about their working conditions and experiences. Coming from a theatre and performance background, my research involves conversations that are recorded with migrant domestic workers in places they've chosen for their personal or community significance. We then co-edit a recording of that conversation into a sound walk that's posted online at homemakersounds.org and which you can download from the website and listen to on location. One of the sound walks I discuss in the article was made by Filipina domestic worker Amara in Piccadilly Circus, where she slept rough when she escaped her employers and found herself undocumented and homeless in London. In addition to the pressures of performing as a modern hero by providing for her family, Amara's status in the UK depends on proving to the Home Office that she is a victim of modern slavery. In the editing process, Amara was careful to emphasize that she didn't identify as a victim. She put this passage at the beginning of her sound walk. We don't want to be treated like, a vic like victims of trafficking because we are workers. We, are, we didn't left our family to, to, to depend to the government here or to any, any uh, support from any organization. The contradictions in the way Amara has to perform for these systems fails to recognize how she wants to identify and how she wants to live her life. Because the terms modern heroes and modern slaves both fail to recognize everyday exploitation, they also overlook the everyday expertise that enables domestic workers to evade and survive it. Sarah is an activist who's fought for 10 years for migrant rights in Lebanon. Her sound walk is located on the site of a protest for migrant workers' rights in Beirut and emphasizes that it's on the everyday scale that struggle takes place. One day it will change. The system will change, everything will change. Even it's small things, but they will change. So I keep that in my mind. So like this time I, I feel strong again to, to face the, all the problem and to continue again, again and again and again, every year and every day. In response to what Sarah is saying, in my article I hope to look past the modern heroes, modern slaves dichotomy and restore attention to the everyday as a site of exploitation, of struggle and of expertise for migrant domestic workers.